Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I am challenging myself to do a week in my life this week because I haven't really been on my vlogging game. Like I just haven't been super consistent with it and I haven't done a week in my life in a very long time. I just feel like it's a little intimidating to like remember to have to vlog every single day. Um, but this week is Valentine's Day. We have a cute little date night set up on Friday. So I'm so excited about that because we're trying a new Austin restaurant. But we have a lot of home updates this week, including the bathroom renos. I'm not gonna give a full tour of them just yet because I really wanna do like a separate video and just walk you guys through everything that I picked out. And we built some furniture this weekend. I have to show you guys this find, it is insane. It's pretty affordable for like a whole sideboard thing but before that I wanted to unbox this Dolce Vita box that I have back here. It literally could not have come at a better time. I'm headed out of town for like two weeks next week and they're both kind of beachy vibes. I sent them like a ranking list um, from the line sheet so we'll see what they sent. Okay we got two pairs of shoes and a bag with some box. Here's the first pair. It is this really cute like mesh heel. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. But I feel like these are going to be very comfy. Like, I feel like this is a nice cushioned and also like a kitten heel. You can never go wrong with going for a lower heel. And here's the second pair. I love these shoes. I feel like I'm going to wear them all summer long. I swear if I saw these shoes, like maybe even a year ago, I would have absolutely hated them. But these are just so practical, especially for like traveling or walking around a new city. You want to be comfortable. You don't want your sandals to be like sliding off of you. So these are literally going to be strapped on. And this is the bag. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this all summer long. It is literally the perfect going out bag. And I have been searching for a really good black and gold going out bag. I feel like this can hold a lot, you know? You need to take a white claw into the bar. I'm not saying I do that, but if you need it to fit a white claw, I feel like it can. Anyone wanna guess where this is from and how much it was? Like this is probably, I can't even, I can't even take credit. I saw a TikTok on it, but it is one of my favorite home finds so far. Let me check the price really quick before I give you guys the wrong number, but I got it from PetSmart, number one, which is wild. Um, and what's even crazier is that this was designed by the people that designed my bed from Living Spaces. It's the Nate and Jeremiah collab. But this was from PetSmart and they did like a little pet collab so they have like all these cute little modern pet toys and like cat scratchers and all this stuff. Um, but this is actually supposed to be a fish tank holder. Um, so we were joking and we were like, should we get a fish or a snake or a hamster? There's no way because I would definitely forget to feed the fish in the morning. But it's currently on sale for $299, so like $300. Apparently it was $3.99, so $400, and it's like available in store. But this is like the most beautiful wood color. The sun is going down, so it's like a weird time for lighting the um, overhead lights are on. But I'll try to show you guys on Instagram. I'll link them on Instagram and obviously in the description below. But it's just like a really nice, like not ashy wood tone, but it's a little bit cooler than the wood floors that we have in our house. So I'm really excited we found something to finally fill the space. It just felt so empty after our Christmas tree got taken down. Now I need to like get some things to style it. Should I put a mirror in here or something? You have one. No, around. like, I know. We have so many mirrors. Like, our con the first time our contractor came and like looked mm -hmm. at the house, he was like, like, kind of just looking at all the mirrors. He was like, uh, like what the heck is going on? I was like, yeah, I don't know how that happened, honestly. But anyways, let me know if you guys have any ideas of what to do. Like over here, should I put like two pieces of art, one big art? I really do need to like start no, focusing on decorating the walls. What? I said, you're not even the art. <laughs> Very funny. I'm just sharing these uh, fat caps on the side here. Give it extra juicy. For this one. A lot of on this one. I finally caved and got the clear cutting board from Amazon. It has a little lip right here so it doesn't slide around too much. It just like hooks on. Oops. My bad. Extra blue like you like it. Blue? Mm -hmm. Ryan makes the best steak. Tonight's is probably the best. We'll see about that. Ryan's trying on his tux for the wedding. 
for watching The Bachelor and the two in one date with Sydney and Maria is about to happen. What do you think? You wanna know how to put these in here? Where do these go? What is it? These are supposed to go, like block these buttons, I think. I told Ryan it's giving me Squid Games vibes and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> you like these better? Oh, that's cool. All the way up here. And I have yet to pick out my dress. I'm probably gonna do newly for it. So just, I don't know. Like I'd rather rent something really, really good than buy something that's basic and then I'm gonna wear it once, you know? So, actually that's on my to-do list for tonight is to go look at newly dresses. It's like a rental thing. Not an ad or just an ad? No, not an ad. <laughs> just put in the last little laundry, but I'm gonna enjoy my last cookie. I made so many of these cookies for Super Bowl yesterday, and I made like this amazing guac that I feel like did not get eaten enough. So I just left it all at my friend's house. There was honestly just so much food there, so I don't blame anyone. But this cookie right here, it has to be like the best thing I've actually ever made. It is from Broma Bakery, all the recipes from there, and it is brown butter cookies. Brown butter chocolate chip cookies. And they are so delicious. I put sea salt on them. And I'm just going to like slowly eat this, savor it, <laughs> because I've been craving just a good chocolate chip cookie. Look how stunning that is. And I've never browned butter before, so learned something new yesterday, which was fun. But I was stressed. I was like, these just have to be good. And they did not disappoint. So I'll link the recipe down below. She's one of my favorite food content creators. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I did some heatless curls last night with the thicker ribbon. So I'm hoping it stays as well as like the smaller one. That means the curls just won't be as tight. Um, I'm meeting my friend Catherine because we're gonna walk Lady Bird Lake. I usually work out at the gym in the mornings, but um, these past two days I did some walks with friends. I just feel like it's the perfect way to meet up with a friend, catch up without spending money and without eating because other than walking I feel like I'm always going to lunches with friends and all of that stuff which is totally fine and I love doing obviously but I am trying to eat on the healthier side slash I have so much food at home and I'm leaving town next Wednesday so we need to eat it all before we leave. I am so pumped for today because my contractor just texted me that the electrician will be here today so all the lights are going in and that's pretty much like the main last thing for our bathroom renovations. Now that I'm thinking about it I did start the vlog late yesterday so I don't even know if I talked about the bathrooms but they put the glass door in yesterday so like it's pretty much done you guys i'm so freaking hyped about it and we actually used the shower this past weekend um there was no glass door but we saved our shower curtains so we just used that um and it was really nice and just like very spacious at least the primary um shower after they put the glass in that happened at like I don't know 3 p.m. yesterday they were like yeah you can't shower in it for 48 hours and I was like dang it I thought we got our shower back because I guess the silicone or the glue something has to set so I will be showering at lifetime for the next 48 hours actually I guess maybe 24 hours but tomorrow we are back on our 7 a.m. workout routine Thursday I booked an ultra fit and Friday we're doing GTX which I tried for the first time last week on Friday it was definitely more like orange theory um, ultra fit you kind of run in intervals and between those intervals you do floral workouts with the BOSU ball and like balancing and all of that stuff but I really did like the floor workouts in GTX because it was just more weights and I feel like I need to like be lifting heavy I just don't really know how to do it on my own so it was nice because she really helped with form and like she was actually looking out for us so I liked GTX for that but for the first half of the class you're on the treadmill and you don't get off so I didn't really love that about that class but we're gonna do it again and see how we feel after the second time a model 
and it is freezing here in Austin. It was very cold out this morning, but I am in my comfies. I love this little Skims sweatshirt. It's their Valentine's Day collection. I just took a few minutes to clean the kitchen. I physically cannot film anything if I know my house is a disaster and it currently is. So I'm trying to like do one room at a time. Last night we kind of cleared out the uh, primary bedroom. I did a bunch of laundry. I don't remember the last time I did the laundry. I have some other laundry in there. I just like threw the couch blankets in there. I'm trying my hardest to wait till noon to eat. Sorry about my hair, it's like crazy. Whenever I'm in my house, I just like throw my hair in a clip, but it's never like super cute. Um, but anyways, I tried to make myself some tea to hold me over, but it's not, it's not really doing it, um, but I have like an hour to go. So I know I can make it. I just got to stay busy, which I feel like I have a lot to do today. I told you guys that the electrician is supposed to come today. He's getting here at one. Um, and I really want to clear this table off. It's like my catch-all for just random boxes. There's so many like little returns that I have to do. I have literally so much lime wash paint that we didn't end up using that I have to return it all. Um, and then I have just like the fixtures and stuff. I'm also really upset because I bought these mirrors. I ended up not loving the gold on them. It just looks so orange and does not match anything else in um, the bathrooms. So I decided to just get the same time mirror without the gold. And I already got rid of these boxes. So my plan was to keep the second mirrors box but i wasn't here and they like already took it because they were like hauling off um like all of the renovation debris and all that stuff and took like all the vanity boxes and everything so they took those boxes and i was like damn like i was gonna you know put these mirrors in the new boxes and just like return them like that so now i have to figure out how to pack these like really well obviously i don't want them to break their mirrors and they're very fragile um, and that one had like a foam piece cut out for an arch. So it was like perfect, but it was my bag because I didn't really tell him to like keep the box. But anyways, I need to figure out how to package that up. I honestly just might go to FedEx and ask them to help me like pack it, even though that will probably cost like a ton of money and it's like free returns. So I'm just so mad that I don't have the box still. I got this tulip thing at Costco. There's bulbs in here and like, look how cute this vase is. Basically you just have to like have water at the bottom of the bulbs. And one tulip popped today. I did not even think it would be that fast. Like I thought it would, I don't know, happen in the spring. But we're gonna be gone for like a week or something. So I'm a little worried about sustaining the water in there. But we also have this raspberry plant that is, I guess, growing already. And I am so excited to come back from vacation because we're really just trying to wait until the last freeze, which we think is gonna be in end of February. Honestly, it could be right now because it's pretty cold this weekend. Um, but this is a lemon tree. Rye, where do we get this? Home Depot? Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it'll take to like actually produce lemons. Like, I don't know if it's years or months, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I got him two shirts from Aloe. One seems to look really big. Like, I think I got his regular size, but I think it's an oversized shirt. So we might have to return that one, but I'm going to have him try it on. And like, if he wants to return it, he can. But um, I also got some stuff for myself too. I am trying to film a bunch of stuff so that I can kind of have a stockpile of videos while I'm away. I always tell myself I'm gonna film on vacation and when I'm away and like traveling, but sometimes I just want to like enjoy the moment. So in case that happens again, I'll have stuff to like pull from. So I'll probably film a little aloe TikTok haul, but I also wanna write Ryan a card for Valentine's Day. So I gotta do that while he's not here. I think he's playing golfer at the gym, but I also wanna use the sunlight to film, so I'm trying to rush everything. Happy Valentine's Day, Ryan. Go for these beautiful flowers from Central Market. I like them. Where'd you get them from? A hand-picked boutique. Oh yeah. From the- Basically. <laughs> Um, but you want to do an old-fashioned show? Pro tip ladies, get your boyfriend a gift that you want to see him in, aka aloe. I got him this shirt already and him, right? yeah, he actually already has it. And I really like the way it fits on him, so I got it in black. Little aloe tag. And then I got him a, like just a big t-shirt because I feel like they're cool to wear when we're going out and stuff. Oh, it's right here. But we think it's like a tad bit too big. It is his regular size, but we're 
losing weight, so I don't want to... I think it's also supposed to be oversized. It is supposed to be oversized, and I think that's the issue. I feel like we could have gone down the size, so... Anyways, we are going to go to the domain, get that exchanged, and do a bunch of other errands. Yeah. Just got done at the domain, and I had a Coriana bracelet that broke, and I was so sad. I've been wearing it for a very, very long time. I was doing dishes, and it literally just, like, popped off. And I went into the store because... Usually they're so good about exchanging. I literally got this one exchanged because I, again, wear it so often and I know I shouldn't like wear it in the shower and stuff, but I do. Oops, anyways, this other one just like literally popped off and I was like, okay, I want to get it exchanged, but they don't sell that one anymore. So I was really sad. So I just got a gift card, but their customer service is very, very good. Anyways, we are at Central Market. We're at the one down south, which is sad because I wanted to go to them one up north, but it was like 25 minutes away from the domain and then this one was like 30 and this is all the way south like near our house so I was like might as well go to the south one but I'm really hoping to find some sumo oranges and we're gonna make pasta tonight which mm -hmm. kind are we making spiral noodles fettuccine fettuccine alfredo and we're gonna do some mushrooms and then I also really really want caviar so can put chicken in it too yeah we can put chicken in it I thawed the chicken out the other day, but, um, yeah, I want to get some caviar. I haven't had caviar in so long, really, yeah, since the last time. Sushi oh, well, kicks. yeah, technically it was on sushi one time. And I don't think I told you guys this, but Ryan made us a reservation at... Sushi by Scratch mm -hmm. at the whatever resort that is down there. Wait, what resort? Remember where I played golf for my birthday? It's in that. Oh. The horseback riding. Hmm. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So basically, it's like Sushi Bar ATX, but it's just Sushi by Scratch. We'll see and we'll better. Yeah. We'll report back. Yes. I think this one's a little bit more expensive. It was like 165 a person. Maybe? Yeah, I know. I think the other one's 145 one, oh, yeah. one time I like looked at the prices. But anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I feel like we have not had sushi in so long. We got some caviar from Central Market, mm -hmm. and the guy said this was kind of the best bang for our buck, so we're going to try it out. I'm going to get a close-up. Yeah, I'm going to put it on some potato chips. Yeah, we didn't get the bellinis, but we did get creme fraiche, because I feel like that's important. Now we're going to try a new brand. Might as well do a little haul while I'm at it. So we got this pasta dish that we're making tonight, specifically called for this kind of butter, so... We got it. We got Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream. Can you guys guess what we're making? Parsley. Oh, wait, that is beautiful. Garlic, avocado, well, not avocado, guacamole. Strawberries, red onions, because I really want to pickle some more red onions. They were so delicious and I ran out. Um, we got these instead of bellinis, mushrooms, and then this fettuccine pasta. I'm gonna put a little bit of creme fraiche on a potato chip. I've actually never tried caviar on a potato chip. I don't know how much to take. Start with that much. I cannot drop the caviar. This caviar was $77 and that was like one of the cheapest. <laughs> and obviously this is a very special occasion. We never do this, but cheers. I feel like we need to do like a singular bump without the potato chip too. Because mm. everything is pretty salty, you know? Should I really taste it? Soapy. <laughs> no! <laughs> treat! Soapy treat! Come eat this caviar. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Not like amazing. You know, like it's good, but not, is it $77 worth good? You know, I did buy vanilla ice cream because I wanted to try it on like a little spoon of vanilla ice cream because I've seen people put it on that too. And I feel like that would be good. Sophie is loving the caviar. She's licking everything that just fell on the ground. Tonight we're making fettuccine with mushrooms. Peeling the garlic and Ryan's gonna mince it up for me in a second. And then we're gonna work on our pasta. 
Um, I am inspired by this pasta that I love at Juliet Italian Kitchen. I think it's called mm, fettuccine fungi or something. And that's mushroom fettuccine. So it's gonna be so good, I already know it. I've been in my cooking era, I've been in my homemaker era. I'm really just loving cooking and challenging myself. So hopefully it turns out well. But guys, this looks delicious and I tasted the sauce already and it actually tastes so freaking good and it was very, very easy. So I'll link the recipe in the description. You do you, you be something a Yesterday night I had a cleaner come by to give us a quote. She just wanted to see the house in person and then decide from there. Um, and we decided to just like book her for when we come back from our travel because there's just like shit all over the floors, obviously with the reno stuff like we've kind of let the house go a little bit and haven't really felt the need to clean up because there's just like people walking around with their dirty shoes like there's literally a pile of dirt behind me i don't know what that's from but i'm gonna clean that up with a vacuum soon basically we just need to pick up everything off the floor and just on the furniture in general just like declutter um before the cleaner comes so that it's easier for her to like dust everything wipe everything down so i really did want her to come like this Friday or like even today, but it just would not be smart because I need time to like pick everything up. So we're trying to do it like room by room, not trying to overwhelm ourselves. So today I made it my mission to really just clean up this primary bedroom. And honestly guys, I didn't even want to show you guys the before because it was really bad and just you guys would have judged me, but like we had just laundry piling up. And so I cleared the floor, like this is the cleanest I've seen it look since we started the bathroom remodels. So I'm very excited about that. And we still don't have like a hamper. I think we're gonna just use these cubbies for now. These were a part of like some Target furniture that Ryan had in the uh, old place. But we just like stuck the whole cubby thing in a closet. He's not using the cubbies anymore. So this whole time I've just been using it to transport laundry from downstairs to upstairs. Um, but I think these are actually a good height to put in the bathroom closet on the floor because if we got anything taller it wouldn't fit in the closet and I don't want to put it in the um, actual like clothing closet because they feel like we actually get like changed more in the bathroom. I'm just trying to think where it would be just more convenient to have these so we're gonna put these in there clean the space even more also, they just came and did some finishing touches. They changed out the door handles. I don't even know if I showed you guys in the vlog yet, but the electrical is all hooked up. I don't want to do like a full bathroom reveal because I want to save that for a whole other YouTube video, but everything's hooked up. And yesterday we noticed that this mirror was a little bit higher, so they came and fixed that. So everything's leveled and everything. Um, the electrician put in these like really weird light bulbs, so we're gonna get something different because you can literally see the spiral of the light and it's just not the vibe. Um, and also behind us, is the beautiful Roman shade that I got from Amazon. They just installed this as well, and blinds were here originally, but I got this on Amazon, and it was the cheapest that I found. And so this is how you kind of raise it. But it's nice because I feel like we'll have it closed more often than not, because it still lets some light in, but it obviously blocks people from seeing us inside. Here's a little bit of a closer look at the texture and the color. So many dust bunnies and styrofoam pieces everywhere in our house. I cannot wait for this house to have a deep clean. I'm trying to intermittent fast and not eat until 12 p.m. So I'm just trying to keep myself busy with cleaning and stuff. But a thing that was like randomly on my to-do list was to pickle some red onions because it just ran out. It's large, but it's probably the ugliest red onion I've ever seen. And usually Central Market has like really good stuff, so I was kind of shocked by that. I can't remember if I told you guys this on the vlogs or not, but Ryan and I just finished watching 
Griselda on Netflix and it was such a good show so I highly recommend it. It was um, with Sofia Vergara as the main character and now I feel like I should watch Modern Family and binge that even though there's like so many seasons of it but honestly we need a new show and I would try to watch um, the show called One Day last night. My mom said it was really good and I was excited because it was Valentine's Day and it was like a rom-com kind of series. We just could not get into it. Like maybe I need to watch more than one episode but I think I just like more thriller kind of show. There has to be a cliffhanger at the end for me to like really be invested. In one of my vlogs I asked you guys for recommendations for shows and one person said Jane the Virgin. I totally forgot about that show and honestly it was probably one of the best shows I've ever watched ever. It's such a good show and I wish there were more seasons. There were a lot honestly. That and Desperate Housewives is probably like top shows of my life. My eyes are so sensitive when I try to cut onions and I usually use this thing, but I want them to be more like slices instead of chopped. So I put this little attachment on. I'm not really sure exactly how to use it, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. Uh, I don't know. We just need to do it with confidence. <gasps> yes, okay, this is perfect. Okay, this works very well because this whole time I was like cutting red onions with just a knife and that's one skill that I really want to learn is to just cut vegetables better, more efficient safer honestly because in the past i feel like i've scared some people i should also probably be doing that with my fingers okay that is so efficient and fast then what do you do when you get down to this because now i'm getting scared with my fingers no the eyes not the eyes i'm highly considering getting some onion goggles or something I always ask Ryan to cut my onions because I just cannot handle it. Shoot, I literally just did my makeup too. Okay, I pickled some onions from this weekend, so I'm just gonna use the same little concoction. It is just sugar and distilled like white vinegar. And I actually have some jalapenos in here too. Red onions are sweet from the vinegar, but the jalapenos gives it a nice little kick. Looks like I have a little bit too much, but I can always use these for like dinner tonight or something. These leftovers are about to hit so different. I forgot to add some extra salt last night, so I'm just gonna put it on top. I am actually addicted to maldon salt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just makes everything so much better. It's just like flaky salt, but the best kind. You guys saw that I gave Ryan some aloe shirts yesterday for Valentine's Day. So while I was shopping online, I obviously wanted to treat myself because I feel like I've been working really hard in the gym and I wanted to give myself a little reward. So I wanted to do a try on haul. I just got two sets, I think. I think that's it. So I wanted to do a try on haul. One of the sets I actually already have and I wore it so often that I got it in another color, but the black one I somehow lost. I literally have no idea where it is. I don't know if I lost it in the move or traveling back at home, but I checked my dad's house and it wasn't there. And I don't think it's at my mom's house. So I'm just really confused about it. So I ended up finally getting another set and it's this um, tennis skirt. It is just so flattering. I know you guys have seen me wear it so often if you follow me on Instagram, um, but it hits at the perfect point at the waist. And this is the second set that I got. I saw this in store a while ago, honestly. And I think it was just in a black color, but I saw this brown color online and I was like, okay, I have to have that. I am a little worried because I got it in a size medium. I just like don't wanna keep buying the same size if I'm, you know, consistently, you know, making progress in my fitness journey. So let's try it on and hope for the best. The top fits really nicely. It snatches me in, like I'm loving this. I do remember that I took the pads out of this bra the last time I had it. 
I just get so frustrated when I wash it and the pads are like jumbled. Like I just rather take it out than like re put it back into place. The skirt though, I feel like it's a little snug. I don't know. Like should I size up in a skirt? Cause the last time I got a large and I feel like it was loose, like it fit really well, but I also remember it being kind of loose. But I love this set so much. I would wear it every single day. If I could, obviously I have to wash it. I will be wearing it weekly now that I have it back in my wardrobe. Here's the second set. I love that it matches the hat. I feel like it is even better on. The only thing is that like it, it feels a little revealing. I'm the type of girl that wears a t-shirt to the gym slash a tank top. So I don't know if I would just wear this. Like I feel like I would want to cover up, but maybe I would wear it on a walk outside in Austin because it gets so hot here. You like don't want to be wearing clothes. So my stomach is always whiter than my whole body. It's so annoying because <laughs> I always just wear like one pieces when I'm swimming. We need to find like a little two piece set to tan this area. It's another day of me changing like a hundred times because I'm doing like content batching a little bit. I think I told you guys, but I just want to have a good amount of content to pull from while I'm away. And I just unboxed this belt and did a little video for TikTok, but I wanted to show you guys on the vlog. This is from Orium Collective. I have loved the Kate earrings. I think that's what they're called um, for a while now, but I just feel like I can't justify that because they're earrings and they're trendy. And I've literally found very similar ones on Amazon, but I have purchased belts on Amazon and they just like never really feel very luxurious to be honest and the gold hardware like you can really tell that it's definitely cheaper which is fine but in my wardrobe i feel like i'm good on the basics like i love my skim stuff i have like slowly stocked up on some really really good pieces but now i feel like my everyday outfits just look really basic so i've been trying to challenge myself to accessorize a little bit more like this hat and just like actually wearing my necklaces i definitely go through phases with necklaces because it's either like it's on me for like days or a month at a time. And then I take it off and like totally forget about just like accessorizing over here. Anyways, I really wanted to get a belt because I feel like it adds a lot to the outfit. And I saw these, I think I got an Instagram ad. Those always get me. I just thought it looked really luxurious. And I feel like if I splurged on one thing, it should be a belt because you can use it so many times. And like, this is a classic thing. Like this is not gonna go out of style. So this is a little close up. Ooh. Can you see it? It's like a suede material. And at first I was like, should I get a black first to start off my nice belt collection? But the brown was really calling my name. Something about this color I just really like and I feel like I can wear it in the summer and black's more of like a winter thing. Although you can obviously wear black in the summer. But because it is a splurge item, I'm gonna try to like brainstorm a bunch of ways on how to style this because I will be wearing this a bunch to get my money's worth. It is 5.45 and I'm doing my second workout class of the day. Guys, I never thought I would ever say that. I mean, I don't know if yoga is a workout class, is it? But either way, I'm going to a class. And I honestly do not like yoga. I've never really loved it. I feel like really unproductive when I'm in a yoga class. I'd rather do like, honestly, even running or like weight training just to make me feel something, you know? This class is at the Free People Studio and it's a collaboration with like Planoly. So it's like an event slash workout class. So that's pretty much the only reason I'm going because I love to go to influencer events and I have no idea who's going. So I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I always see someone I know. Plans have changed because I just got a flat. I didn't even get like a beep that the tire sign was on. And honestly, I don't really like look down at my dash very often. Like I just pay attention to the road. And I somehow saw that tire pressure is low. And honestly, I'm a little uh, like numb to it because sometimes when it gets cold, my tire pressure always says it's low, but it's only like slightly under and then it just goes back up to normal. So sometimes I just like ignore it. And then I started to see the number seven instead of like 27. And I was like, what is about to happen? And then it started dwindling down literally four, three. And I, and then I finally pulled over to the side cause I was like, okay, so this is actually happening. Um, and now it's at zero. So I was literally four minutes away to this freaking event. 
Like I couldn't have just made it into the driveway, done the event and like taken care of it after. But honestly, I have a shoot tomorrow morning after I go to the gym in the morning. So I need my car to be like fixed before that. Or maybe I can just take Ryan's, I don't know. But Ryan's gonna come help me because I have no idea what to do with cars. Um, luckily I was able to get my insurance card over the phone, just like some automated thing gave, gave it to me because usually I like call like some insurance guy's phone number and ask him to send it to me over email, but obviously it's after hours. So thank goodness that was an option. Um, but I think Ryan's like 40 minutes away from me because I'm all the way north and I think he's like all the way south playing golf. So yeah, fun stuff. This is just so annoying because now I look like a flake and even though I didn't really want to go to the yoga class, like I was going to force myself. I really wanted to meet the people of the brand just for future, you know, to show face and Anyways, I emailed her and I was like, I'm so sorry. I just got a flat and I have to get this taken care of. Um, I literally never do this. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I just wanted to catch you guys up because just sitting here, going to wait for Ryan. I guess I can post on TikTok and I have a lot to edit because I filmed a lot today. So that's what I will be doing with my time. Night in Shining Armor has arrived. It's flat. <laughs> well darn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did. I think I saw what you hit. What? Like a pothole, the old jagged edges right there by the Chick fil A. But I didn't go down that Chick fil A. You didn't go down this road right No, here? I came on that road. Oh, I don't know. Goodness. When did it happen? You just noticed it? Or dinging yeah. It? No, I didn't even start dinging. Like, I just started, I just looked down and I. And I've been so numb to seeing the low pressure sign because I feel like I'm always. Like that? That's what I'm saying. The wheel but it started going down fast. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was supposed to go to two workout classes today, but now we ended up in the Chick Fil A line. <laughs> we gotta waste time somehow. new toilet seats on because she doesn't like the plastic apparently. Mm -hmm. And this one was broken. <laughs> yeah. Your big ass broke it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Good morning you guys. It is Friday and I'm so excited because tonight we're going to our sushi date night at um, Sushi by Scratch which I think I've said this already. It's so hard to like remember what you said on the vlogs just in general, but especially if you're doing like a whole week in my life, I feel like I've already told you guys this stuff, but if I'm repeating, just don't mind me. Anyways, I am so excited because we have not been to Sushi by Scratch. We've been to Sushi Bar and I think they're like sister restaurants or something like that. Um, so it's pretty much like the same concept, but on my class day. I went to a workout class this morning. We did GTX at Lifetime and I am so freaking happy because I woke up and I weighed myself because I only try to weigh myself in the mornings. I feel like it's more consistent if you weigh yourself at the same time every day. And the app asked me, Sonali, is this you? And honestly, that was just like the biggest compliment, which I honestly didn't go down that much. Like it wasn't like a significant drop in my weight, so I don't really know why I set up. But anyways, I have officially lost 10 pounds um, from the start of what I weighed in at. And so... I'm just really excited. I didn't get to my goal weight yet. I had like a goal weight for the wedding. Um, and I know the numbers on the scale don't mean a lot. Like it obviously means more like what you look like and how you feel. But in my mind, like I like numbers and I feel like it's just easier to just have a number in your mind, you know? So that was just kind of for me. I'm honestly so happy though that I got even this far. We leave for the wedding on Wednesday. So today starts my pampering. I want to dye the ends of my hair. I just told Ryan that I was going to do this and he was like, but that means your hair won't be virgin. And so I had to like explain the whole process of bleaching your hair and that this dye is just like a toner. Um, so it's not damaging to the hair. Um, but basically one of my goals this year is to just like get all of the bleached parts out of my hair, which I don't know how 
um, realistic that is going to be, but we're going to try. I actually just went in for a trim. Well, yeah, I think this, that was this week. You guys saw it. Um, so we just need like a couple more and I feel like we'll be pretty much good to go. I mean, there are more bleach parts that are higher in the front because those were my money pieces, but I feel like Maybe they're starting here. I'm not really sure. The girlies got me with this one. I saw this on TikTok and I was influenced. This is the Wella Color Fresh Mask. I've used it once before and it honestly was great. So I'm going to do it again. Um, just because I feel like this is something pretty simple to do. Just like put a toner on slash a gloss at home. Well, I don't even know if this is like a toner. It just is color depositing mask and that's really all I need. So... I'm excited. I search high and low for this because my products are just spread out in my office, this bathroom and my um, primary bathroom. So I was like, where is it? And I was just thinking it was in a different packaging. Like I thought it was all white. So I was looking for an all white container. But anyways, I finally found it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm going to do like a full blowout routine. Right after my workout, I headed to Discount Tire and got that all situated. I'm very curious to see if they're able to repair the tire because obviously that would be a lot cheaper, but the tire itself is going to be like under 130 or something. I thought it was going to be way more, honestly. Like I was kind of prepared for the worst, but this is also like the first clip in this bathroom. Like look at this lighting. I cannot wait to share with you guys like every little thing. I'm going to do a full bathroom reveal and put like all the links to every little thing so that in case you guys are doing a bathroom reno, it'll be easier for you guys to design. My gosh, that was like the worst part. Not the worst part, because like obviously it was fun to design it, but kind of the scariest part, because I've never really done this before. We're obviously going to take my white shirt off when I do this mask. I had a shoot at 10, but she canceled because it was like an in-home shoot, and it's just really gloomy outside. And... Honestly, I'm not mad about it because I have some campaigns to film and I really need to start like thinking about packing. Basically, this weekend is going to be a double whammy of day drinking. Um, one of our guy friends, well actually we have two guy friends birthdays um, this weekend. One of them is doing day drinking on the east side on Saturday and the other one is doing day drinking on the east side on Sunday. And I guess some people have Monday off. So I think that's why they wanted to do Sunday. Um, so yeah, basically I'm trying to prepare myself for the fact that I'm not going to be doing many productive things this weekend. Um, Cause number one, I'll be out all day. And number two, even in my mornings, at least on Sunday morning, like I don't know if it'll be very productive. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I possibly can. That's why I was trying to clean up the house this week. Um, but we do still have so many little house projects that we want to accomplish. Like we have purchased the curtains that are supposed to go downstairs. We've had them for like at least a month and we haven't touched it. <laughs> so we just need to like give ourselves some deadlines. And I also just got a quote for um, some things. I think we're going to probably do that in April just because when I get back, it's already March and then South by is here, which I'm so excited about. Like the thing with South by though, is that I never know what's going on until like a few days before all of the events happen, which is kind of annoying, but I get it. I feel like everything's last minute. And now that I know that, like I prepare for everything to be last minute but it is such a fun time. And last year I planned my college best friend reunion um, on the second week of South By, which is not as exciting as the first week, I will say. I feel like there's less events, it's more music based. Um, but this year I made sure to like know when South By is so I don't plan anything. So I'll actually be here for both the weekends. So it shall be really fun. Oh, and my best friend from college, she's still in school. She did post-grad. I think this is her residency, but basically she just had her match day today and she matched to a school in Tampa, which is literally so exciting because I have so many friends in Tampa now. Like I have one from high school. Um, the people that are actually getting married this weekend, they live in Tampa. 
because he is in the Air Force, and so the, the, the base is right there. And then, like, so many college friends live in Tampa, and obviously my college best friend's gonna move to Tampa, and I'm like, okay, I literally told Ryan I need to start, like, doing a bi-yearly visit to Tampa because so many people live there. And also, I can get my fresh kitchen fix while I'm down there. I don't know if you guys live in Florida, but comment if you do and comment if you've ever tried Fresh Kitchen. Like it's been, what, four, a little over four years post-grad and I still think about Fresh Kitchen like weekly and it's sad, but I really wanna go to Orlando just to do like a little college food tour. I miss all my places like Susai in Orlando and Fresh Kitchen and Fujiyama and all of the good stuff, honestly. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for how long? Um, 10 minutes. Yeah, this is a zero damage formula. Oh, it says use weekly to eliminate warm tones for cooler results with added shine on brown and black hair. So yeah, this is a gloss then. Sweet. So I'm actually gonna take a shower in the guest bathroom because the bathtub like I feel like that'll be easier to clean the like brown hair dye off of instead of like the grout lines in the primary bathroom so we're gonna use this bathroom for the first time and I honestly like I think this is my favorite bathroom like I like the primary obviously like it's beautiful but something about this tile and the lighting in here is gorgeous I seriously cannot wait to show you guys I feel like maybe I could film it this weekend, but I also don't want to rush anything. I don't know if they are coming back to do any other little things. They need to put the transitions um, by the door, like on the floor, so that it doesn't look so choppy when you first come in. You know what? I should have freaking put this on with gloves because now my nails are gonna look so horrid and I don't have press-ons on, which I guess this is a good thing that I did it before I put press-ons on. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling today, but I'm in a chatty mood. It's gonna be a good Friday. We're gonna be productive. We're gonna film a lot, and we're gonna get our toes done later. I'm excited about that, because I've been waiting forever. My friend Kiana and I have been getting our toes done since like last year together, and so we're on the same schedule, but I kind of fucked it up because I, got my toes done for something recent and then like she didn't need to get her toes done that fast you know so I kind of messed up our schedule so I had to wait like extra long this time to like wait for her. I kind of dropped the ball on vlogging today. I went to get my toes done with my friend so that I wouldn't have to stress about it next week even though it's not like a stressful thing I just didn't want to have one more thing added to my um like beginning of the week because we're leaving on Wednesday and I know like two days before travel I am stressing running around doing like last minute returns and all that so I always bring my own gel to the nail salon because I feel like they never have the perfect white pink and I get the same color every single time it's Lisbon wants more on my toes and for my nails I'm just waiting to get a little closer to the wedding and I'm just gonna do press-ons like I usually do. It is currently eight o'clock, our reservation's at 9.30 and this is what I'm wearing. Just opened up my Rent the Runway package and I actually just made another Rent the Runway um, order because I had to get a dress for the wedding. So I just put that in and I'm gonna return this on Monday, but um, this sweater is from Rent the Runway and then the pants are page jeans, which, I'm very mad about this and honestly I shouldn't be mad because I should have just read the directions on how to wash it but basically you have to get these dry cleaned and I did not see that because they were supposed to be this like metallic material and they're not now because I washed them just like with the regular stuff. I don't know how to wash my clothes properly and that is why I don't deserve nice things because these jeans were very pricey. So. Literally, I got one wear with like the metallic -y looking jeans, and now they're just weird textured, not metallic jeans, but they're still cute. Like, they fit really nicely, so I'm still gonna wear them. Um, and then, obviously, my Amazon heels I love these so much, and I think I paid like under $40 for these super cute metallic heels. They'll have these linked below. I think this restaurant is in Cedar Park, which is like about 30 minutes away, I believe.